Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Med Nuggets. In this video, we will talk about everything you need to know about your adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are also known as suprarenal glands. Supra means above. Renal is kidney. The adrenal glands are small, triangular-shaped glands that sit on top of your kidneys. The adrenal gland is made of two main parts. The outer region of the adrenal gland is called the adrenal cortex. And the inner part is called the adrenal medulla. The cortex can be subdivided into three additional zones called the zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis, each layer producing different hormones. You can remember the names of these zones with the mnemonic GFR. And for the hormones, think of it as the deeper you go, the sweeter it gets. GFR, salt, sugar, sex. Salt is aldosterone because aldosterone absorbs sodium, salt, and excretes potassium. Sugar is cortisol as cortisol can raise your blood sugar levels. Sex is androgens, which are the sex hormones. The sonar reticularis produces androgen precursors, mostly dihydroepiandosterone, which is used to synthesize testosterone and estradiol. The medulla of the adrenal gland produces epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, and noepinephrine, also known as noadrenaline, that initiates the activities of the sympathetic nervous system which is the flight or fight response of your body. Imbalances in hormones produced by your adrenal glands can lead to various diseases. An overproduction of aldosterone can lead to a condition called hyperaldosteronism. This condition can be caused by a tumour in the adrenal gland. The excessive aldosterone floating around in your blood can absorb lots of sodium to your blood. Wherever sodium goes, water follows. This can lead to hypertension. Potassium is the yang to sodium's yin. So when sodium goes up, potassium will go down. So these patients will have a low serum potassium. Hypertension and low potassium is indicative of hyperaldosteronism. Similarly, an overproduction of cortisol can lead to Cushing's syndrome, which is again caused by a tumour in the adrenal gland. There are several causes of Cushing's syndrome, which we will discuss in our upcoming videos. Cortisol is a stress hormone, therefore high levels of cortisol in blood can lead to a raise in the blood pressure, blood sugar and characteristic findings such as dorsal fat pads, purple abdominal striae, weight gain, and menstrual changes. Think of all the things that can happen to you when you're super stressed during an exam. Whatever that is, times a hundred is Cushing. An excessive production of catecholamines such as epinephrine and noepinephrine by a tumour in the adrenal medulla is called pheochromocytoma. This can lead to episodes of hypertension, sweating, and palpitations. Addison's disease is a condition where your adrenals are shot. This can happen due to the destruction of your adrenal gland by infections like TB, infiltrations by malignancies and amyloidosis and hemochromatosis, or by your own immune system destroying this gland, which is called autoimmune Addison disease. This can lead to a significant reduction in all the hormones produced by your adrenal gland and cause dehydration, hypotension, and an absence of axillary and pubic hair in females, and skin hyperpigmentation. And that brings us to the end of this video on the adrenal gland and hormones. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos on the diseases related to the adrenal gland hormones. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.